Welcome back to PowerShell for Microsoft 365. In this topic, we're going to talk about reporting on user accounts. And to uh, get reports on user accounts, we'll talk about getting individuals and groups of user accounts. For this task, we'll use the Microsoft Graph module again. We'll use the, the get dash mg user commandlet. We'll use that to do uh, get a big group of users. We'll filter down and get specific users. And then we'll talk about uh, getting groups of users maybe that have similar properties instead of just going, give me all users. We'll go get, get me users that the accounts are enabled or accounts are not enabled. Just go ahead and go down to the uh, demo environment. We'll start walking through all this. So in our first script here, we just got a few lines we'll run individually. We're going to use the get ng user uh, mostly through this topic here. Using just the get ng user commandlet by itself, what that'll do is return uh, all your users back in your environment. Uh, there's also a get all parameter that's useful in some situations when you're filtering. You don't necessarily need it just to get all of them in the environment. And let's start using a filter too. We have a dash filter parameter. And we'll start with this second one here. That If you've used filters before, this one probably looks a little more normal, a little more what you're used to. Double quotes on the outside and then single quotes here around the string that you're comparing to uh, and display name being a property of the user account. And we see here, display name Rob Smith. Microsoft Graph uses another filter type that uh, you've probably not seen before. And again, with it being built on top of an, an API and then the PowerShell modules commandlets are built automatically on top of that, you can use the filtering that's available to the normal API that developers would use. Um, we'll run this and we'll get the same outcome here. And let me show you some of the different filter terms that you can use. Uh, I've got a link to a, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to link to there. Let's see, filters. There we go. We'll look at these two links here to give you a little more information on how the filters are going to work. So we have the get ng user commandlet documentation for that. And if we go down to the filter area, there we go. You see, they have a filter parameter for starts with, which is what we did, display names to property they're looking for, and then the string they're doing the comparison with. If I move this right here, these are the filthy, quer filthy queries that are available to you. You have your quality operators, relational operators. So to compare with what we did, there's a function starts with, there's an ends with, it contains. These are a little bit tricky to get around. If you are more comfortable using the uh, legacy filter type, I'll say. You can keep using that. If you're going to do more complex queries, uh, and if we go back, if you go to that link, you can see some more complex queries that they walk you through, and I'll provide those links to you in some uh, code that's going to come with the course. You can walk through those, and you can get really complicated and really complex and really specific on what you're going to choose, or if you're just going to not need to get that detail, just use the legacy filter type. One more way to filter it out, you can always get everything and then pipe it to a where object. Compare that display name against the string you're looking for, and again, we'll get that Rob Smith account. Just look at getting accounts that uh, maybe have some comparable qualities. First thing we're going to look for is user accounts that have account equal true. If we run this, we should get a list of three accounts probably yet. So that would say all three of these accounts are enabled, not disabled. If we want to find those same accounts, but get some more specific properties on them. And this commandlet will grab the display name, the mail address, and the city of the users and stick that into a table. So if you have a need to do some sort of reporting on your accounts, maybe show a list of users and where they're at out in the country, this is a good way to do it. We can check for users that maybe don't have a mail account yet. So their mail property would be null. As you can see, we don't have any users that uh, do not have a mailbox enabled. If we switch that over to 
not equal, we should get all three of our accounts again. And here getting a little more complex, we're going to use a new parameter in the MG user commandlet called count and consistency level. Count will, it would, we're using get MG user, we're going to get all accounts back. The count parameter will specify a variable to count all those accounts that are returned and it's going to set that number in that variable user count. The next one, consistency level, this is a parameter needed for more advanced queries and that's straight out of the Microsoft documentation. I have been looking for six months on what consistency level eventual actually means and I haven't come up with anything, I have no idea, it just, if you want to use count to get the user count, you also have to use consistency level because that opens up advanced queries. That's just the way it is, and I guess that's just another caveat of it being built automatically. And then at the end here, we're going to get users where the mail account is null again. We've got that whole thing in a string. So what we're going to get is total users and total users, and then users without email and a number for that. Let's go ahead and run it. And down at the bottom, we get total users 3 and users without email 0. And here we have that other parameter similar to what we ran up here and we see we get all our users again but since we've used the count parameter and specified user count if we look at the user count variable we'll get our number of users let's go back up to the slides and wrap everything up hope we can help you out there on trying to find users uh, accounts that are in your tenant we went through a few ways of how to find uh, a lot of users or all the users, groups of users, and how to specify certain ones, and then how to uh, count them and make reports. I hope this module is useful, and I hope you join me back for the next one.